Is it possible to find an affordable home nestled between the Tennessee mountains and a beautiful lake? You're about to find out. Welcome back, this is Robert C. Baker with Move to Chattanooga and United Real Estate Experts where we teach you everything you need to know about relocating to the greater Chattanooga, Tennessee area. If you want to live closer to nature but not too far away from Chattanooga, Tennessee, Saudi Daisy may be right for you. Saudi Daisy is located about 20 minutes north of downtown Chattanooga and roughly halfway between Mowbray Mountain and Chickamauga Lake. Saudi Daisy is easily accessible via I-27, which takes you through to Red Bank to downtown Chattanooga, and Highway 153, which takes you into Hickson. Saudi Daisy was formed in 1969 when the communities of Saudi and Daisy merged along with areas surrounding I-27. As of the latest census, there are about 13,000 residents. Folks are drawn to Saudi Daisy for a number of reasons. First, people who live here really love their community and their country. Second, Saudi Daisy really is affordable. And here I don't just mean housing prices, but also property taxes. Property taxes within Saudi Daisy are lower than other places in the greater Chattanooga area. And if you live in an unincorporated part of Hamilton County near Saudi Daisy, you may only be paying county property taxes. Third, if you're looking for a lakefront home, and I'm frequently contacted by folks out of state looking for lakefront property, homes in Saudi Daisy, Lakeside, and Cell Creek are less expensive than lakefront homes in Chattanooga. Say, if you want to live on the lake, drop me a comment down below. Let's talk home prices. Here at the middle of February 2022, there are 13 active listings in the greater Saudi Daisy area, ranging from $85,000 to just over a million dollars. That speaks to the wide diversity of the housing stock in the area, which includes manufactured housing, small rural farmhouses, planned communities, multi-acre luxury properties in the mountains, and million dollar properties on Lake Chickamauga. I should also say that there still are vacant lots on the lake in case you want to build your lake dream home. Due to the diversity of the housing stock in the greater Saudi Daisy area, it really doesn't make any sense to speak of the average or median sales price. It's like comparing apples to oranges. In the six months prior to February 12, 2022, 196 homes sold in the greater Saudi Daisy area. 16% were priced below $200,000, 31% were priced between $200,000 and $300,000, and 27% were priced between $300,000 and $400,000. This means that three quarters of the homes sold in the greater Saudi Daisy area during this period were priced below $400,000. That said, 16% were priced over a half million dollars and three were priced over a million dollars. Again, those figures speak to the diversity of the housing stock in Saudi Daisy. Let's talk about schools. Saudi Daisy has three elementary schools, Allen, Daisy, and Saudi, Saudi Daisy Middle School, and two high schools, Sequoia and Saudi Daisy. Say, if you're enjoying this content, click that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Saudi Daisy's Municipal Building and Police Services Center is located at 9835 Dayton Pike. Additionally, the city has three fire departments with a strong paid and volunteer force. When it comes to health care, Erlanger Hospital operates a primary care center in Saudi Daisy. Additionally, you can find fast-paced urgent health care as well as local doctor's offices. However, for more serious issues, Saudi Daisy residents turn to hospital satellites such as Erlanger North and Red Bank, or CHI Memorial's Hickson location, or the primary locations of Erlanger Memorial and Park Ridge in downtown Chattanooga. While there are some shopping opportunities in Saudi Daisy, such as Walmart, Walgreens, O'Reilly's Auto Parts, Tractor Supply, and Mom and Pop Shops, Saudi Daisy residents will travel to Red Bank, Hickson, or Chattanooga for their shopping needs. In addition to a few national chains, Saudi Daisy has a number of restaurants that locals love. These include Home Folks Family Restaurant, which always seems to be packed. Home Folks has a senior discount, and kids three and under eat for free. Locals also love El Matate, and a little further north is Schubert's Smokehouse. And we can't forget the super popular Steve's Landing Waterfront Grill, which is located right on the waterfront next to Pine Harbor Marina. Steve's is always packed. This video was taken prior to to opening on a weekday. Try their Steve's favorite burger or any one of their seafood platters. Let's talk about public parks and recreational activities in Saudi Daisy. If you like to run, walk, bike, fish, ski, boat, swim in a creek, kayak, or play ball, you're going to love it here. Saudi Daisy has four city parks and two designated park-like areas, and they literally span the whole city. To the south, there is Veterans Park, which really highlights the patriotism and gratitude Saudi Daisy has for service members. This park is located in the 9000 block of Dayton Boulevard. The park has lighted ball fields, a walking track, picnic pavilions, restrooms, 
war memorials, and a memorial for 9-11. A little bit north is the smaller Scramble Alley Park, located behind the Municipal Building, which has a climbing maze for kids and restrooms. Beautiful Holly Park, which overlooks Soddy Lake, has a ramp which can launch two boats at once, plenty of parking for cars, boats, and trailers, and super clean restrooms. Just down the street and closer to Dayton Pike, Soddy Daisy also has a public fishing pier and boat launches. Let me mention this. The TVA, the Tennessee Valley Authority, regulates the water level of Chickamauga Lake, so during the winter, the lake is lower than it is in the summer. So the area seen here will be filled with water beginning in May. Another park is Kids Park, which on Google will show up as Municipal Park. Here there are eight lighted ball fields, basketball courts, a walking track, and pickleball courts. And right down the road is the beautiful Soddy Daisy Bird Sanctuary, where you can walk, bird watch, or even launch small craft like kayaks. At the north end of Soddy Daisy is the Big Soddy Creek Golf Area, which locals call the Golf. The Golf is a 285-acre wonderland full of hiking trails, mountain and gorge views, waterfalls, places to picnic, walk, ride bike, bird watch, and places where you can swim in the creek. Please note that there are no lifeguards and you swim at your own risk. In Sunny Daisy, you really are closer to nature than other places in the greater Chattanooga area. The trade-off, if any, is that additional shopping and healthcare opportunities are about 15 to 20 minutes away. Looking for affordable housing in the greater Chattanooga area? Check out these videos next.